Okay, in this question there are four teams A, B, C, D, and we find that teams are playing each other once. Now, in the first match, there's a team that has plus point eight, and there's another team that has plus one, which must imply that there is a one team among B and D which has minus point eight, and there's another team that among B and D which has got minus one. Now, in this question, if you actually look at the entire data, suppose there is any team, for instance, the tie happens in the second stage. Now, whichever team is involved in the tie, the net runs that it scored in the first match, if I call this as x, x divided by 50, the net runs divided by 50 gives the net run rate, plus if, the, if this team was involved in the tie, in the second match, the net run scored will be zero because both the run, both the teams have actually scored the same number of runs, and this 50 will actually become 100, which implies what would happen to the net run rate at the end of the second match? It must become half of the initial net run rate. So this is one clue if the tie is happening at the second stage, or if the tie was happening at the third stage, whatever is the net run rate, net run scored by the team at the end of the uh, match 2 plus the net run scored in the next match is 0 from 100 to 150 would be the increase in the denominator it implies the net run rate if it happens in the third match must become two thirds of the net run rate at the end of the second match. So this is the logic that we will use to, so, to solve this question. Now let us look at this data here, A is point 0.8, B, C is plus 1, which implies that one scenario is B is minus 0.8, and D is minus 1. In which case that we are talking about the match between A, B and C, D being the first set of matches and in the second set of match obviously B must be playing either C or D. Now if B plays D we find that both their net run rates are becoming half in which case the possibility is B, D is a tie. Now let us see what if B plays C instead of D. Now, since its net run rate has moved from minus 0.8 to minus 0.4, the net run scored by him in the second match is 0, which implies the number of runs scored by B must be equal to the number of runs scored by C in that match, which is not possible. Hence, the only possibility in this case is B, D is a tie and the first round of matches being A, B and C, D. The other option now is if A is equal to minus point, plus point 0.8, C is equal to plus 1, we have the option of D being minus point 0.8 and B being plus 1, minus 1 rather. Now, what would this mean? it would mean that in the subsequent matches B has moved from minus 1 to minus 0.4, its net runs in the first match was minus 50, that is now becoming minus 40, implies he must have 1 by 10 runs. Similarly, if you look at the value of C, C has moved from plus 1 to minus uh, plus 0.25, which means initially he was 50 his net runs was 50, now it is becoming 25, which must imply that he lost by 25 runs. Similarly, if you take the case of D, D has moved from minus 0.5, uh, rather minus 0.8, that is a net of minus 40, and now it is becoming minus 0.5, that is met net of minus 50, which implies that he must have lost by 10 runs. 
Now this can happen only in the case where B and D are playing the second match. So in the event of A D C B playing the first match, the second match must be between A B rather A C and B D. So the third match will obviously be between A B and C D. Now we know that C is involved in a match which is a, which is a which is a victory for one of the teams, which implies AB must be the tie in that case. But if you see the net run rate of B, it is not becoming two thirds of the net run rate as it was at the end of second match. Hence, this possibility is invalid, which must imply that B and D must be involved in the tie. 